Nick. I am 17, like I tell people. I actually, I'm 71 years old. I live in Maharas Avenue in Middletown. I worked for the post office for 33 years. I retired 15, 16 years ago. And I've been doing what I want to do. If I want to do something, I do it. If I don't want to do it, guess what? Tomorrow's another day. I was in Special Forces. We used to wear a funny green hat. We were a lead group of uh, 12 men. I was 21 at the time. And if you want to apply for some place, well, you're going to get drafted, you're going to get this. And so I had to join. Hello, my name is Nick. My dad, wow, what can I say? Uh, known him for 42 years. Uh, I call him crazy. He doesn't think so, but everybody's a little bit crazy. He's a great person to have on your side. And the flip side is he's a horrible person to have as an enemy. Um, taught me a lot, guides me, helps me out when needed. Love him to death. There isn't anything I wouldn't do for him. Kinda scared me a little bit, called me on, couldn't get a hold of him for a couple of days. Neighbors and friends said that uh, he turned yellow, jaundice, so uh, trying to get in. Yeah, I'll go to the doctor, I'll go to the doctor tomorrow, tomorrow. Well, finally he got in on Sunday, went to the hospital. I got a call Tuesday night that he said that the doctor said that he had liver cancer, which was very shocking and disheartened. So I was packed on my way back down from New Hampshire within a half hour. Well, I was all original until uh, three weeks ago. Everything in my body was all mine, and I just was operating on three weeks ago. All things said and done, a month and a half later, no cancer anywhere, thank God. And um, now we're just getting them back up to strength and all. So, put me for a scare for a month and a half, but everything worked out for the best. So. How can I phrase this? All right, my neighbor, Jim, next door here. The people next to them, I don't know at all. Now, the people that bought my home, my old home, I don't know at all. And right next door, you know, people don't show, uh, how can I phrase it? Don't uh, go up to other people anymore and introduce themselves. What's it take to go in? And, and you know, hello, how are you? When's the last time you held the door for somebody and they said thank you? People, uh, it's not a disregard for uh, courtesy. It's just, you know, people don't believe in it anymore. Because I grew up in Jersey City and uh, I could tell you every neighbor Cross street up and down the block. Now my next door neighbor was uh, Ciandela and uh, they had six children. And one of the, the uh, next to all this was uh, my age and he's a monk now. But we grew up, you know, knowing you were all our neighbors next door. You know, the whole family. If we don't help one another, there's no, uh, there's no theory, you know, left and right. Like.